I'm Dick Termas. I'm going to give you an explanation of Four Point Perspective. This is a grid I'm using. You can see the up and down lines that I showed and then the curved lines that uh, start with a straight line in the center and progressively move to a curved line. This allows you to get a four point perspective uh, drawing which is a 360 degree picture around yourself. And I'm going to go through the drawing from the beginning to the end. This right now I'm showing the, the uh, different vanishing points, the four different vanishing points. There's five showing here because uh, the outside ones are actually the same points. So you might think of these points as a north, east, south, west, and back to north points around you. I'm checking uh, with the ruler there where the, the room that I'm drawing runs off the page on both edges of the top uh, so that you get it accurate so it actually will fit together in the end and, and make a nice um, continuous 360 degree picture. So what's being drawn right now are the four walls around you and then I'm breaking into those walls with other rooms that are back inside so that it can be very it can be actually very very complex coming out of this grid use a little white out to cancel out the overlapping lines even the windows that I'm drawing right now the little depth in the windows are still projecting toward these points and I'm looking through the paper. The paper is transparent enough to where I can see the grid through the paper. And you have to make sure that two outside drawings actually will come together and fit together. So anything you draw on the right side, you have to make sure is on the left side. These are holes in the floor that I'm drawing. Still all of it's tying in with the grid. I'm just drawing over the grid. When you draw, when you think of the grid, you don't have to be right on the lines of the grid. The grid just shows you the direction that the lines have to go. So you could have lines in between any of the lines. They just kind of keep you knowing about where you are. Now this four point, I call actually call it a continuous four point because it continues on and on and on and continues to fit together is one of many different grids that are found in my book, the new perspective systems. And it runs, starts from one point perspective, goes all the way to six point. This is one of a very nice system though, this four point, because you're able to do a curved line perspective. If you were to think of these as cubes, and a cube has three sets of parallel lines, Two of the lines are actually curved lines uh, in the curved line perspective here. The up and down lines are straight up and down still. So that's how you get, you know, one type of a curved line perspective. I, I always find it's very good to put people and trees and stuff in the environments because it makes it more like it's a real room instead of uh, just a, a skeleton of a place or something. I, what I'm doing right now is I'm shading in the different walls that are parallel to each other. And I think that helps to um, make you aware of that there's six, actually six different walls in this that are parallel to each other. We'll come back with color to have you be aware that they, those are all actually parallel walls. This one, of course, is a red, a series. And this is an orange wall over here, so all the other walls that are parallel to that wall will be orange, too. I just do that to help make it make sense. You can see up above that I broke into the ceiling, 
with uh, a hole up there and people are looking down at you too. You can do just all kinds of things with this system of, this gridded system of perspective. This is an interesting part of this. Uh, it shows it really is cylindrical perspective too because that complete room around you fits on a cylinder. And you can see that you're looking, it's a, like an inside out view of the complete room around you. You can see how it all really does fit together. Uh, so this can be a continuous, I mean, you could put two of the, if you copied this off and put it together, you could have, uh, you could be turning in a circle twice when you're looking at your cylinder. Or you can flip-flop it around and have it be on the inside of the cylinder. And you stick your head up in there and it would look like a normal world when that when the cylinder spun around you. So that's kind of fun, too. If this were a large enough drawing, it, it would be a great way to uh, design a stage in theater. Theater in the round. So this is uh, the finished product here. It's a grid that's so very important that actually does show through the paper as you're drawing. And this is the book that I got it out of. That's just uh, half of that grid. And you copy that off and make it twice as long in order to do this four point perspective drawing. So I hope you'll give this a try. It's kind of a neat little system to, to draw 360 de degree uh, drawings of worlds around you. Cubical worlds uh, are the, the best thing to be working on. Thank you for watching.